<laughs> All right, hey guys, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption Ace with uh, plenty of Ace and more uh, Zion uh, that uh, this town has ever seen. All right, the thunder told me to not make that joke again. Um, let's see. Oh, I hear a dog. I hear a dog. Do I? I still have the eye patch and everything, right? Damn straight, I do. Okay, so it's been a little bit of while, a little bit of while since I played this. So apologies. Oh, that's just John Marston. He loves making entrance. All right. Uh, this ain't my thing no more. Let's see. Uh, we got uh, the G mission. I think that's pretty much it. What's G again? Is that Agent Ross? Why is it G? Alright, uh, okay, let's go down to the Asian Ross missing, missing then. What are we doing on everything here? I think we got sniper rifle. Why do I have it set to the revolver? Uh, I like that it's semi automatic pistol. <laughs> um, alright, Tomahawks. Tomahawks! Tomahawks. Tomahawk. Alright, okay, let's go. Over to the G-Dude. We won't uh, bother Warhorse to, to take me there because, you know, he's tired. Sometimes he needs a rest, you know? So for this entire session, I'm going to be running around. No, I'm not. I'll, I'll bring him out eventually. Bear one another's burdens. Bear one another's burdens. Interdasting. Bear. It's spelled bear like a bear. Like a <laughs> eye patch. Yes, I do have an eye patch. <laughs> Come on, on in. Very moody with the rain. One hundred one. One hundred two. One hundred three. One hundred five. You skip four. I'm here to see Mr. Ross. One hundred seven. Nine. Edgar Ross. One thirteen. Upstairs on the right. What a jerk. One fourteen. One fifteen. One sixteen. One seventeen. What a bored guy. I could make his life more exciting <laughs> by killing him. Mr. Marston, so glad to see you. How was your journey? Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <laughs> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. <sighs> Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Give me my wife and son. Games with me. No one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Thanks, sir. Like hanging you for murder. Or confiscating all of your property. Like that little farm of yours. Or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. So calm down and play along with us. Shut Where's the fuck my up. Wife? You know, I forget, but I hear it's very nice this time of year. <sighs> Mr. Marston, please, I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn, but now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. Huh. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. And then I'll let you be. The last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty swab or by another lowlife. <laughs> we believe Vanderlyn just holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, <sighs> yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group, your group, has, well, shall we say, been disbanded. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, 
Mr. Marston, your wife and son are, are doing well. Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. Okay? Up to you, sir. I'm going to put a bullet in his head. Fuck that guy. And that guy. Oh, Mr. Marston, one more thing. This is for you. <laughs> You're too kind. See, I have nothing but your best interest at heart. Cool. Let's hope it doesn't go off by mistake. New gun, eh? Three forty-three. Hey, I have a pat for that, sir. This is an outrage. Hey, Nigel. Oh, Mr. Marston, <laughs> you're alive. Oh, West Dickens. <laughs> Thought you were headed to Peking. Um, so did I. So did I. In a long story. But now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. Ross. Have him release this man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. Huh. And because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. Let him go. Come on, Marston. Moral degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry <sighs> on. Oh, who knew? <laughs> 344. That was lucky timing. Three. Oh, I lost count. I have to start over again. <laughs> Where are we going? It's all rainy and depressing. Where are we going? That's it. You're all out of last chances. Head for the wreck of the serendipity. Mr. Oh, okay. So we're going to go get Dutch. All right. We get a talk. There we go. Lawmakers and lawbreakers working together for the good of civilization. Like you always say, sir, the higher the stakes, the smarter you have to play the game. I can't imagine I ever said anything quite so trite in any case. I'm not sure Mr. Marston would agree with us. Unfortunately, Mr. Marston is broad minded enough to appreciate the unique opportunity we're offering him. Son of a whore. You best watch Shh. your damn mouth. And it's strange you should say that, Mr. Marston, because according to my files, you are the horse son. Now, what else can I recall from the files? Oh, let's see. You killed hundreds of innocent people. You've robbed at least 40 banks that we're aware of. They told us there was a prize when you got to 50. I'm <laughs> glad this is all such a joke to you. I want my family. And I'm sure all the men you murdered wanted their families, too. Come now. You're stupid. But you're not that stupid. We both know how this has to be. And it could be all over today. As soon as we find Dutch Vanderlyn, you can go back home and play being a farmer again or whatever else you've been pretending to do for the last few years. First it was Bill, now it's Dutch. After Dutch, it'll be somebody else. Where does it end? It ends when we say it ends. You're in no position to make demands. Like you will. You don't just walk away from that. Buy a few chickens and make it all disappear. You should be dead or rotting in a jail cell by now. We are giving you a chance at new life. A chance at redemption. You can't erase Red dead redemption. Monster, but we can. The redemption is so dead and so red that it's... Redemptiones! Such an elegant way to travel. What do you think of this automobile, Mr. Marston? Slow. Shove it so up your ass. and reliable. Oh, comfortable? No. You see this, Mr. Fordham? The brooding cowboy. Not many of these left, you know. A bit of a cliche, admittedly. But still a dying breed. Like the buffalo. Just as dumb, but not quite as noble. I already killed all the buffalo. They move most cows by rail these days, I hear. Not where I'm from, they don't. But you aren't from anywhere. A new dawn is breaking, Mr. Marston. Breaking this dawn. Is the age of the machine. And soon, we'll all be living on the moon. Maybe. This is the future. Anything is possible. This is the past. Finally, this godforsaken land is entering the 20th century. Prosperity has arrived. It's not far now. The old serendipity wreck has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for years. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp. We'll stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. And you'll do as I say, Marston. Don't you point that at me. I'll kill you. 
Oh, I think he knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Marston? Sure. Go ahead, Dutch, and finish this. Right. Let's go, Mr. Marston. All right. Yeah, let's go and kill Dutch and give me back my family. Give me back my son. Son, give me back my son. <sighs> Could you walk any slower, guy? Keep quiet and stay close. Yes, sir. Vanderlind is the priority. We go in, take him down, get the hell out of here. Quick and clean. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. If you step out of line, even once, well, I hope you're aware of the consequences. I'll consequence you, asshole. Alright. Anybody home? Where are they? Seems quiet. A little too quiet. Seems real quiet, don't you think? <laughs> I just said it. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. That informant better not have been lying to us. Keep your eyes open. They are open. I don't see nothing. It doesn't feel right. This place is usually teeming with low lives. Oh great. We're gonna get ambushed. Hello. Hello. The fuck? Did you hear that? Go see what's happening up there. I'll wait here. Why are you gonna wait there? Investigate the noise. Can I go this way? Somebody's getting tortured or something. Hurry, up there. Shut up. This way. Ah, uh, up where? I don't think I can see anybody. What the hell? Over here! I found him. Good God, that's our informant. Nasus, what the hell's going on here? Okay. It's a trap. That's a trap. Sure, Austin, you'll have to carry this man. I don't think you can walk. Oh, great. Oh, great. We need to clear a path out of here. Uh, headshot. Real men don't get cold feet. Watch it, fool. Where is that? There's somebody right here, I think. Ah, great. Yeah, take that, bitch. Oh, I'll send you to hell. Whoever said that? Oh, God. This would be a trap. You FBI guys suck. Come on. Hey. Fuck you. We're getting off the boat. We just gotta carry this guy through. Oh, no. Fuck you! Boom! Oh, you shut up! I'm taking care of the guys before we go. Oh, fuck. Oh, Nastas, are you alright? Sorry you had to work with these assholes. They're pretty dumb. Here, can I get his legs or something? Fuck you! Ah! Pop up. Actually, never mind. Don't pop up. He's on fire. He's on fire. Path looks clear. Let's get back to Agent Ross. Yeah, the path looks clear. Shut the hell up. All right. Let's get you back to freedom, Nostis. Sorry, I had to work with these dumbass FBI guys. Did he just say idiot? You're an idiot for fucking. Letting this informant lead you into a trap, dumbass. Oh boy. Ugh, run! Run! What's he doing? 
Why does he, he's glitching out. This is Nastus, your informant, dumbass. 